Ah, another day means another dollar. There must be an English version of that. Pound. Another pet. Another. There isn't. But it's another day, which means we've got some more sales to send out. And I've also got a really cool charity shop find that I want to show you. It's epic. We'll start with Vinted first, only a couple going out there. We have this Oakley top that I bought from Newbury when I went to check out their new charity shop, which is absolutely shocking. Paid a fiver for that out of pure desperation. Not from that charity shop, from another one that I went into while I was there. And sold it for £3 on Vinted. So I lost money on that, but I've had that probably four months now, five months, probably longer, to be fair. And some, I think it's Botero, I think that's how you say it. Botero. Boots, like a scale effect, really nice, great condition. Paid £2.50 for these from a charity shop jumble sale type thing. So they've got pop-up shops. My local charity shop that closed down, they've managed to stay relevant by doing pop-ups. Sorry, they sold for £7.24. Whenever I pick the vintage stuff for you, I always print the label while I'm at it, because why not? I'm already in there. It's a faff otherwise. £6.64, we've sold another LED driver. I do need to update the listing, because I've got about 12 left, but I think my... Products only showing I've got two left or something. This is really, really nice. Yeah, it's a grey. Sorry, I got a bit confused when I went my list in then. Got a bit confused. Ignore me. I had this sitting around for a very long time over there. Just haven't got around to listing anything yet from over there. Like the long stuff, the sticks. I've got some more ski poles there that need listing. Anyway, this is a grey Nichols Hammond Signature Edition. Spe extra special cricket club. I've wrote in the listing that it's absolutely battered, it's cracked, it's damaged, you know. Somebody's going to have to use that just as a display piece or bring it back to a little bit of life. Car boot pickup, I think this was, for pennies. Sold for, had it as, as 14.99 free poses just to clear it. And it sold for 14.24. I literally just wanted wanted rid of it. A bag of Britain's animals, like giraffe, it's zoo stuff. So think giraffes, tigers, sea lions, all those kinds of things. Sold for £14.24. pence. Panasonic charger base and power lead with manual sold for £10 all in. Those boggy trousers that I picked up a little while ago, they sold for £28.99. I think I paid £3 from a charity shop. Boggy is a fantastic brand to look out for. I sold these cheap because that's what I'm all about. I work on margins, not market value. So if, if I list these for market value of £50, for example, and someone sends me an offer of 28 quid. I'm going to think, how much should I pay for that? Three quid, sold, all yours. If they sent me an offer of two pound, obviously I'd say off, you know. Paid two pounds for this. I've checked it, it's complete. I took some nice photos of it all there. In fact, it's missing one $500,000 note. That's it. Paid two pounds, sold for 18. Customers paid about 38 in summer. They're going, going abroad. Huge shout out to Ian and Christina now. They have picked up this... Pandora's box. It's from the God of War Ultimate Collection series. It comes with like games and stuff inside and a book and things. I have mentioned on there that if I can get this open, it's a slide. You have to, by the way, guys, when you get this, it's a you have to slide it open. And you'll see that it only slides one way, so you've got to find which way it goes and link it in. You'll figure it out. I mentioned inside it was quite dusty, quite I've, I've actually got a lot of that out, to be fair. When I first got that, it was completely full. No idea what they've been using it for. There's no tobacco in there, so it wasn't a spliff box yeah i've cleaned a lot of it out it's a really cool piece this was part of that guy where i brought like the jaguar and the nez from and all those kinds of things when i was buying that he said tell you what give me another 20 quid and you can have xxx that was this it was part of it and i've sold 20 quid worth of the other stuff already i think sold for 40 pounds and 98 pence in total ian and christina massively appreciate you both hope you love and enjoy this and it'll be on its way to you shortly Hello, Ricky from Tomorrow here. I'm currently doing the edit and I've got a couple of extra sales that I thought I might as well chuck into this video because I don't have enough really for a video for tomorrow. So let's add it to this one. Seven pound, we've sold the Paul Smith tie. I paid two pound for this from a charity shop and this one has gone to Matt on Vinted. So Matt, massively appreciate you, mate. So he's wearing this to a wedding, so he needs it before the 18th. I think it's, what is it today? Ninth? Brother, hopefully you get this on time. Surely you have to. All right. For £6 on Vinted, we've sold some Lacoste shoes. I paid £5 for these from that same jumble sale that I picked up the... Something else that I've told you about. A pop-up charity shop. Can't remember what it was, but I've told you about it recently. Might even be in this video. Things all roll into one after a while. So I made one whole pound. Dishing out some more absolute bargains now is the pink PlayStation Slim with two pink 
controllers. The controllers were a bit twisted and whatever else, and there's a little bit of the fascia snapped off of the PlayStation, so it wasn't in the best condition. But it works perfectly, all shown in the pictures, fully tested, never been opened before. The warranty seals are also intact. Owes me four quid from a bundle, sold it for £45, all in on Vinted. I'm happy with that. And on Vinted still, because we've managed to get through most of them now, so whatever I sell is completely profit. Taken so long to sell, but I'll probably never do that again unless they are all one specific character. It's some more of those McDonald's toys. Sold a bundle of 10 for £3. These are gone to Alex. Alex, massively appreciate you. Thank you for watching the videos, and they'll be on their way to you shortly. And over on eBay now for £35 is this Liberty of London silk scarf in its original packaging. I paid a pound from this from the car boot sale with the Burberry stuff that I still haven't listed. Or the Aqua Scootum jacket, none of that's listed. It's gone into the clothing pile of death and just stays there. Paid one pound, sold for 35 pound, I think with postage. Free postage, but that's okay, 35 pound, we'll have a bit of that. Let's get back to the video. And for a grand total of 256 pounds and 99 pence is the Jaguar. We've sold the Jaguar. I tested it, listed it, and got it up. The geezer that's bought this has is actually one of the people that I saw on eBay while I was trying to find a price for this. He buys and sells a lot, a lot, a lot of vintage and retro gaming consoles. So I'm hoping he's going to go down without a hitch. I'm hoping he's not, because he looks very, 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 very competent in what he's doing. So I'm hoping he's not a uh, bait and switcher. I've taken pictures of all the serial numbers and the screw ports so I can see if anything's happened anyway. I've proven it's tested and working. I've showed it on videos and photos. So I'm hoping it's just a guy that will just spin this around, probably refurb it and make another chunk on top. So this owes me 40, so what did I pay? 95 pounds, so 42.50, 45 pound. 45 pound this Jaguar owes me. And remember it had Wolfenstein 3D inside plus doom boxed plus cybermorph i've listed the cybermorph the doom and the wolfenstein 3d separately for a grand total of around about 150 180 i can't remember i think i did like 60 60 and 60 just to get them out there something like that but this is sold so this owes me practically nothing if you think about the games i'm going to get 45 pound back plus profit on the games so this is a really good deal I haven't even, I've, I have, I've tested the NES, but I haven't listed the NES yet. £256.99. Very, very, very happy indeed. And they are all the sales, but I want to talk to you quickly about a charity shop pickup that I made. And I've got to try and find a way to enter it into Tommy Trade's reseller challenge thing, because I have not been into a charity shop enough to really get any footage for it. I only popped in there yesterday to make a donation. And while I was in there, I saw what I knew was a Wii game, and I could see plastic on it, I thought... And there's a lady looking at DVDs. I thought, well, I've got to do it. I just put my arm through, grabbed it. I am going to start trying to put my phone into DND when I do my videos. Because I always forget. What was I saying? There was a lady looking at the DVD and game section. And I saw the Wii game with the cellophane on it. And I thought, I've got to. So I stuck my arm around. Sorry, lovely. Just grabbed it and was like, well, that looks like an unusual title. I'm having that. And just bought it. Didn't even check it up. I knew it was going to be worth way more than the pound that it cost. Sat down in the car and went, Woo, baby! And that is Xenoblade Chronicles or Xenoblade Chronicles. Now, I've been doing some research into this, obviously. This is the first in the series. And it was released in 2009, I think. And then 2012 in South America and so on and so on. 2014, somewhere else. And then it was re-released in 2016 for the Wii U digital store. Check me out. But this, it's sealed. Still sealed. Still nice and sealed. Somebody obviously bought this from Amazon at one point, And somehow it ended up in the charity shop. But at the moment, currently, I found solds for this of £80. I also found a couple of higher ones, but I'm not too sure what's going on there. And a lot of lower ones as well, but we know how the lower ones work out. But because I paid just a pound for this, and it is coming close to vintage, it's not yet, but it is definitely retro gaming. I paid only a pound and it's the first in the series. This is like getting Grand Theft Auto 1, for example, when you've got, you know, GTA 2, 3, 4, whatever else. Because it only cost me a pound, what I might do, I think I'm just gonna stick it in a bit of bubble wrap, put it in a bag, stick it in my loft. It's only gonna go up in value, isn't it? Yeah, these sort of titles, whenever you see stuff like, I mean, it's not, it's not an obvious title, is it? 
you know, you see all the normal stuff. Whenever you see stuff like this, like Japanese manga, fantasy kind of games, even on like PS2, PS3, titles that you've never seen before, which have this kind of theme. If you don't want to take the gamble on them there and then, just research them. Always worth a look up. One freaking pound. One pound. I'm going to try and find a way to wangle this into Tommy Trades reseller thing. But look, I'm letting him down because I've not been the most proactive with going to a charity shop, but just haven't really needed to recently, if I'm honest. So that's all the sales and the charity shop pickup. Now, I was going to make a video fully addressing something regarding one of my re recent videos with that coffee dude when I bought the coffee and then he kicked off. Some geezer who goes to the car boot sale reckons he was standing there next to the store. Had a look at the footage and I can see his little soggy Timberland boots. But he was making comments like, he stuck it on you and you crumbled, mate. What, because I didn't punch his face in or flip his table or kick off? I crumbled. I'm not a hard man. I'm not Tate. I don't make money off being solid, which means if I don't kick off at every opportunity, then I'm going to lose money. Or I don't have a reputation. I'm not a big fish in a little pond, like a small town hard man, bad man, where if I get knocked out, that's it. Everyone else is going to draw me. I'm 36 with a family and responsibilities. There's only three things in this world that I'm willing to risk anything for. And that is my family, my home, and my kids. Do you understand? <laughs> a bit of coffee ain't gonna happen. But he basically tried to accuse me of editing the clip to make it look like I was giving it back, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was never my intention. I don't even care about how you perceive the situation. I was cutting out swear words and bullshit because I still wanna get paid from YouTube. Too many swear words in and Emma's seen it a million times when I'm editing and I come back downstairs and I'm fuming. So I'm like, fucking demonetized. I have to go back into the edit, take out loads of swear words, especially if they're all clumped together. That was my only intention from them edits to get the YouTube bag, not to make myself look any kind of way. Because unfortunately to you guys, and I mean this with the utmost respect for you and myself, I don't care how you perceive me when it comes to things like thinking you're hard. I'm not. 13 years old i couldn't care less so mark i've already congratulated him i said well done mate i said you're a loser but i'm also the loser for biting to the situation i'm very aware but i had a good chat with emma last night and sat down and said to her why am i having this sort of need basically i said to mark here's the raw footage and i uploaded it he tried to make out like I cut it off. I didn't. The battery ended. The battery died. I said to Johnny even 40 minutes before that, if he'd like to attest to this in the comments, my GoPro's playing up today. The battery's half drained as it is. And that was like 30, 40 minutes into the car boot sale. My battery lasts approximately 50 minutes. And I know in the comment it says, I said 15 minutes, but that's because I use Siri to talk and it just said 15. So I'm lucky that I even caught any of that coffee interaction because I was on my way out of the car boot sale. You see me saying goodbye. So I uploaded the raw footage and was like, here it is. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to hide it the way that you say I am. I strictly want to get rid of crap because I stutter quite a lot. Because I've got ADHD, my brain moves a hell of a lot faster than my mouth. So things come into my head and I want to get it out. My mouth gets tongue-tied and tongue-twisted quite a lot. That's why you'll see lots of weird edits in the videos. Nobody wants to see me going... But, 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 I just... I have... Anyway, there we go. Prime example. So I cut that bollocks out. So I uploaded the raw footage. But anyway, I said to Emma, I sat down and spoke to her and I said... Why am I feeling in this weird way where I felt like I had to actually upload the footage? Why do I? Why did I bite to this this guy? I don't bite like that normally. I'll give a bit of banter back and I'll feed off the dickheads and use them as content. One hundred percent. You comment anything on my videos, it's fair game. You put anything into the public, I've got every right to use it. Whether you're being nice or attacking me, I can use it and I will. But I said to Emma, I said I feel a little bit like I've uh, bitten to a point where I would never normally bite. And we sat and spoke about it going back and forward. And we realised it's because of the way my life is now compared to how my life was 10, 15 years ago. I'm in this, I'm, I'm having conflictions, basically. My life before 26 and before, all the way back, was very different to what my life is today. I was a very, very, very different person. I've removed everybody from my Facebook because I don't use it anymore, but I've made sure to leave a caption there saying, if you knew me 10 years ago, you do not know me today. 10 years ago, the coffee table would have been flipped. I wouldn't have cared about anything. I would have made a scene. I wouldn't have given a fuck. But do you know why? That's immaturity. I, wouldn't, I used to care what people think. I used to have an attitude. I used to be arrogant. I used to have a reputation that I felt like I needed to uphold. Yeah? I was a big fish in a little pond come from a small town 
but I've since grown massively. I'm much older, much greyer, and a hell of a lot wiser with a family, with beautiful children, and a life. And there's no way I would, I now, I've grown to this point where if anything happens in conflict wise, I go into, okay, keep it cool, figure out this. That's why my immediate reaction was, what's the hostility? Before it would have been, fuck you, swiped all his coffee off of his table. But that gets you nowhere in life. So yeah, I was saying to Emma, like, What's got, why do I feel this way? And we figured out it's because I'm having confliction. It's like one of those tests where something happened, i.e. the aggression from this dude, who I know full well is over a low-level drug dealer who his smackhead customers are giving him stolen stock for a bit of cheap gear. So if he gives him a 10 bag and they give him 15 jars of coffee, he's going to make 40 quid out of something that would have probably cost him 10 quid. Or he's a, or he's a shoplifter himself. I've looked at the footage, I can see all of his stock in the bags. I didn't see it at the time, I just saw coffee and thought, yeah, nice. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. So if someone like that would have said something to me back then, it would have been a whole different game. This is the first time where it's happened where I've had the immediate confrontation. I've had to go and swallow it. What's the hostility? Try and figure it all out, what's going on. Weigh up my options and realise, well, I'm in the car boot cell. I love coming to this car boot cell. What, what am I going to achieve from this? Absolutely nothing. It's not worth it. Swallow it. And then some little prick Mark decides to go, ah, oh, you crumbled. And I think that's what bothered me. Because I thought, you've no idea. And I realised it's like Jekyll and Hyde. I'm I was fighting my old self. And that's why I felt so conflicted. And I think that's why it bothered me to the point where I uploaded the raw footage to say, Look, I don't care. I've got no arrogance to be perceived a bad man. Here's the raw footage. If that's what you think I did, good. If you think I crumbled, then yes, I did. If you think by not smacking him up means I crumbled, then yes, I did. I've been very open about it. So, Mark, congratulations. You did get into my head. You did. But you've also opened up the floodgates for me to realise why I felt that way. And you've made me grow just a little bit more and realisations and retrospect and realisation and realise where you've been and where you are now are important parts of growth so mark stick it up your ass mate come and say hello to me in the field next time be lovely to meet you properly you know my face unfortunately i don't know your face so i've got no intention of approaching you but if you would like to come and say hello to me feel free we can sit and have a nice cup of coffee together so to clarify i bet i'm a loser and i hold my hands up to that what an idiot but there we are thank you ever so much for watching i really appreciate it and mark i even appreciate you take care love you all bye i don't even like dow egg butts coffee anyway <laughs>